Welcome to another Sengoku Jidai battle. This is Anegawa, 1570. Let's see. Uh, Oda Nobunaga's massive army is right in front of Asai and Agamasa. They may be numerous, but their Ashigaru are no match for the Asai Yagi Samurai. The battle will hinge upon how long Asai and Agamasa can resist Oda Nobunaga's advances and how quickly Asakura Kagetake can defeat Tokugawa Ieyasu. On Asai's right is, uh, is Asakura Kagetake's army. They should be able to deal with Tokugawa Ieyasu's smaller force with little trouble. So. So, now that the minimap is back. Um... Wow, pretty large scenario. What are our victory conditions? Routing at least 40% of their troops and 19 more than you have lost, or even if your army is defeated, you will win the scenario if you have inflicted 34% losses. Okay, so basically we're outnumbered and we need to inflict casualties. Let's try to form up in a more or less solid battle line then. Don't have much to do that with. Alright, at least here we outnumber the enemy and we need to attack right away. So, I think the key will probably be to try to destroy this army, including overrunning the Honjin of Tokugawa Ieyasu. Uh, the Honjin count as a disproportionate route percent of an army. So hopefully if we take that out, then we can achieve 34% losses on the enemy. So I don't think outright victory is at all possible. Also, hopefully the sun comes up at some point, because this is kind of hard to see. Alright, I wonder if I shouldn't just uh, send my cavalry off to the other battle. See if they can't help out. Or at least slow things down. Next turn. Okay, looks like he's going to push towards this hill, which means we will also need to push towards that hill. stream is just not open, it doesn't have any disordering effects, so there's no point trying to defend it. Okay, and now we can see. And it's not looking very encouraging. Well, 
Oh, we'll try to scrape together some kind of battle line. And continue our assault here. Might divert some of our cheaper and less effective troops along with the cavalry to that hill on the left. Otherwise, we'll just pile on the numbers into this force. And I believe that's all we really need to do. Yep. Okay. How intimidating. Next turn. Like we might need to attack here too if he's going to shift that many troops over to the other side. Okay. Right, then next turn we can begin an advance on this side as well. But for now, but for now, I may have set myself up to get flank charged. Forgot about the movement penalties imposed by the water. Too late now, in we go. It's a shame to get this wing clipped off right away, though. Uh, 
All right. How very intimidating. Next turn. I'm really annoyed with myself for messing that up. Oh, but he didn't take it. I wonder why. Well, that's fine. That could buy us a bit of time. Uh, so that was not a flank attack because the unit started there. A rather pitiful flank guard is going to have a tough time with it. <laughs> That's unfortunate. We'll have to hurry up. Okay. Excellent. Well, let's do the boring stuff first. Okay, this unit needs to push a bit to help fight that cavalry, and otherwise we can kind of chill here, I think. Then there's the good stuff. That was not the good stuff, though, to be clear. We're going to ignore the collapse of this unit. There you go. I keep pushing hard. Next turn.
<sighs> well done forcing me to attack here. Good. Oof, held on for one turn at least. Okay, well, let's try to break this unit. Nope, come on. <laughs> Ouch. Well, that evens the odds a bit. Very slow moving across this river. Perfect. Take advantage of that exposed flank. Ooh, even better. Let's. Hmm, who might need this? Give it to the bows. And. Get a full volley off. Probably lose this unit to a flank charge. That's unfortunate. Keep up the push and maybe pursue to the Hunjing. Very good. Fall back. Fall back. Let's charge in. Hmm, that was not the best. Okay, that means we need to guard that flank, which we have done. Well, just to make sure. And here, Let's push ahead into engagement range of these archers, lest they fall back. Okay. Impact in open terrain only. So, because if they charge us, they would be in a stream. Even if we're on open ground, that counts as not open. All right. Let's see if this unit can't push to at least threaten these mounted Yeti Samurai. And I think here I will wait and see what develops here. Next turn. Good. Yeah, that was bound to happen. Did hold firm though. Ooh. That's inconvenient. Yep. Well, if we hold out for one turn of melee, we can try to make up for it. Doesn't look like we will, though.
Not too bad. Now we can charge. Should bounce that. It's not open terrain. Looks like we lose our flying Tiari Samurai unit. It's going to make things much more difficult over here than they were going to be. Okay, well, we're committed, so all we can really do is keep pushing. Do we rescue our swordsmen, or... No, we definitely catch the cavalry. Good. We're gonna go in. Hopefully we win this quickly, or else it could get very awkward. This man might need a rescuing, to be honest. We'll send the summoner unit after this frag touching a unit that rallied up. In the meantime. I don't really like being down slope, but oh well, perhaps the cavalry have a role to play here. Impact is good, we'll go for it. Disruption, perfect. Can we hit them? Yes, we can, all because we fell back from his Samurai unit. Perfect. In we go. Disruption, great. Next. Yes, please. The rest of these odds are not going to be so good. We'll just have to accept slowly losing those two units. Well, hopefully slowly losing them. Let's charge. Hopefully just straight ahead, yes? Good. We have armor advantage. What else do we have? General. Great. Ooh, duel. Oh, well, that's a shame. Hmm. Need to cover the flanks, I think. See if we can harass this cavalry to do something rash. Okay, in the meantime, lock them in. Wait. Hmm. Really don't care if I lose these two units at all. What I do care about is trying to get around. Oh yeah. Fine. Just brute force it. Now this unit, is this going to join and taking out the Hunjing? No, it should try to roll this cavalry up. All right, how's this going? It's early to say, if we can take that out, it would help a great deal. If we have time. Hmm. Next turn. Good. 
good. Uh, depending on where we end up, of course. Good. 14% inflicted so far. We need 34, though. It's going to get more and more difficult as his mass of troops gets into contact. They are out of command and control. If they had been in, they could have turned to cover their flank. They're pursuing, so it's minus 50% to shoot at them. Hopefully we bounce and hold firm. Good. Now, if we hold out for a little bit, we can get a flank in at least. Oh, that's unfortunate. Even General Dup, they still disrupted. Just bad luck. So no impact POA for those Yeti Samurai, mounted Yeti Samurai there, because it's a stream, so not open terrain, even though it's shallow enough to have no disordering effect. Uh, they did get their quality advantage if they have one. Oop. Good. Ah, we're gonna have to start pushing soon. Can't just stand under fire like that. And no units broken this turn. So, that's decent, but I think I would rather, ah, unfortunately this unit's going to arrive to rescue them, so I can't simply move here and turn to flank. So we'll just charge in instead. Okay. Ooh, do I even want to do that? I think it might be better to just hold this unit back. Okay, well, we charge because it's either that or getting shot at. Damn. Zone of control is covered. This combat is interesting. So, swordsmen get zero POA in single Jedi against Steady Spears, unlike the 50 they get in Field of Glory 2. So I get plus 100 for Spears and Armor Advantage. They're both superior, but they have a General, and Overlappers is a, a plus 15 POA that larger units of Heavy Weapon and Swordsmen get in Single Kujida and Pike and Shot. So they get Overlappers, and then more importantly, Combat Strength Modifiers kicking an enemy unit plus 13%. 
default infantry unit size is about 500 men. So if you start dropping under that, your combat strength modifier is affected. But this is a large unit, so it's at full combat strength until it's suffered over 300 casualties. So as this combat goes on, my theoretically better in melee unit will start falling behind. Okay, and then here, if we charge in, uh, we unlock our swordsman POA because the enemy is disrupted on contact. Boom. So now it's 100 to 100, and then troop quality, but they're disrupted, so we're winning. So we'll just hold out for a turn, they'll turn and face us, and then we'll charge in for the frag and hopefully break. Here we might get flanked, so my only hope is to charge and hope that I pursue into the enemies of Shikaru, which we do. So that covers the cavalry to hopefully break this unit. Although these Yarizama and I will come in and break our Shigaru, that's okay, this is a delaying force, nothing more. Let's try to disrupt the archers. No, too bad. All right, lock them in. Hopefully our cavalry can catch this unit. Good. Go for the break. Unfortunately, we probably won't be able to rescue this frag unit of Lancers. Hopefully our disrupted Ashigaru don't also decide it would be a good time to run away. Let's trundle right into this firing guard. It happens. We need to get over here as soon as possible. Perfect. Okay. That's it. Uh, not bad. I think we have a chance to at least achieve the objective, if not hold the field. Next turn. Ah, uh, held firm again. That means we're gonna have to take a close range volley of both arrow and gunfire. The auto break. Yeah, at least it didn't affect our Ashgad with panic. Catch them? No, not quite. Uh, say goodbye to the cavalry then. Oof. Oh, not catch that. I hope we just hold out for a turn. Don't know if we will. Just average Ashigaru. Ah, disruption from the arrows alone means this unit is doomed. The only reason we were able to fight the larger general that you know was because they were swords and not getting their POA. Now they get their POA. Yeah, this is a turn the numbers are starting to come into play. Ouch. 
And we lose the archers too. Damn, we got so close to breaking them, and now they're gonna flank the whole line. Maybe that'll do some good. No. Okay, what can we do to save ourselves? Well, everyone's going to turn around now. I don't really know what to do with these archers. If we stand and fire, we'll probably get disrupted by these matchlocks. The alternative is to charge at Samurai. Both options are terrible. Let's see if we can't just put some flank threat down on here. Oh, it's all bad. It's all quite bad. If I move here, I can protect my samurai by exposing my samurai archers, which I think I will do. Kind of running out of options here, really. Yeah. 76% lose chance. So we try to rescue. <laughs> okay, there goes that part of the line. We actually stay here and keep this Yeti Zemini unit locked. Start raining arrows on the next. Okay. So we just move this unit away from the cohesion check, I think. That's it. Next turn. Yeah, achieving 34% is looking quite difficult. Hmm. 
Oh, come on now. Oops. All right. Ouch. Okay, what do we get? 26? That's not enough. Oh, that could help. Depending, we could just auto break. Oof. Oh, we held firm and fell back at least. That's something. Zone of control lock, the Yeti's Amidai. Pour in some arrows. Try to stop this frag unit from rallying. Good. All right, who do we even have left capable of doing anything here? Not much. Let's just try to avoid them. So I'm going to control lock the cavalry so we can charge. That's it. Not much we can do. Hmm. Well, we might be able to 
retake a chunk of this hill. That could give us the 8%. Next turn. Thirty-one. Okay, it's a little better. Ooh, we're still facing the wrong way, so we'll get flanked and rolled. That was a good try. Should bounce them. Yep. Good. Bounced again. Oof, that's not surprising. Oh, they'll go for the commander. I guess that makes sense. It's nice. I wonder if it'll make a difference, though. Um, I don't know if that's going to work out, guys. Oh, I like that. Maybe we can get the percent we need over there. Okay. Um what are we to do here? This is all terrible. No matter where we go, we can probably get flanked. Unless we kind of zip through here. It's all bad. Oh, wait, that's... Oh. <laughs> you know what? My mistake there probably only made them die faster by one turn. Let's... Go for the disrupt. I wonder if the archers will hold out for two rounds of combat. It's actually conceivable, so turn that way. You do what? I suppose try to. Oh, there's nothing good here. Try try to run.
good. Do we charge? What would prevent us from being shot at if we didn't bounce it right away? Lock them in again. Very good. Get ready to break them and get ready to join the fun. Zip out of there. Okay. Next turn. We did it. We got a nominal official victory. Now we can watch ourselves get driven from the field. Oh, <laughs> very nice. Oh, it's just fantastic, really. This many units fleeing the field, it's inevitable it's that some of them are going to rally up. Duel. General fallen, but no cohesion failure. Get in there. That's what I opened myself up to. Break and flee. Ah, we didn't bounce them because we disrupted them. Even better. Even 19% lead to outright win. Which seems pretty damned unlikely. Possible, but unlikely. Oh yeah, they're going to go, and they're going to be a large route percent with 800 men in the unit. Well, formerly 800 men, now less than 500. Okay, where do we have any units remaining? Well, this is screwed, but have to try something. At least we can fall back out of the primary firing arc, if nothing else. All right, do we hit the Samurai? Or the Yeti Samurai? Or the Mounted Yeti Samurai? I think overall, I'm more likely to break the infantry quickly. Because they've taken more casualties already, so they're more likely to fail cohesion. How are you still here? How many men? 248 left out of 500. 237 left out of 480? Yeah, it's not looking too great. Okay, what are we to do? Yadi and I are coming for us, so I guess we have to go fight them. 
Oh, that's his unit there, of course. Um, run away. Let's see if we can buy some time by just fleeing from contact there, because it's all we have left on that side of the battlefield. So all of our hopes are here. Oh, would you just stop? All right, turn around. Break that unit and see which way we push. Hopefully somewhere nice. All right. Oh yes, get out of the way, please. And everybody start moving slowly to the rescue. I would love to go for Oda Nobunaga, but he's too far away. We would not get there in time to influence the battle with any of our units, really. What are you to do, I think? Cover this unit from a flank attack. And are we better off making it for the forest or standing in the rough ground? I think standing in the rough because we can't make it to the forest, unfortunately. That's all we can do. Next turn. Yeah, unfortunate, we could have got good flank attacks off there. Oh, we get one anyway. Good. Well, uh-huh. in here. Well, hopefully we hold. Do for now. Ah, they were fragged. Wasn't too likely. Alright, so I'm going to try our hope to achieve a victory.
do we have anyone left under command over here? Um, not really. See if we can't catch someone. We can't. Okay, well, goodbye to everybody else there then. Here, at least, there is still hope. That's too good to resist. And that's downhill. Good. Hmm. We need to get Yari Zamurai shifted down there. And Ashigaru to fight these spears. Um, run away. You can't fight them, so run. I'm trying to decide if I should try to find a way to hit this frag unit, but I don't think I can. Probably to zone of control lock me. The alternative is to run. Oh, let's just go for it. Let's see. General up here to see if they rally. And I think turn around to get ready to run at least until the spears arrive and then we can turn back around to form up a new battle line. Next turn. Yeah, there goes our lead down to Ouch. Went from an 11% lead to a 4% lead. Duel. Oh, very nice.
Well, virtually the whole army on the left is gone. We can only hope to break these guys. Good, that helps a little. If we're lucky, we'll break this unit too before we get flanked and massacred. Run! Two friends. Um, not quite sure what to do with these guys, I suppose. They'll help stretch out this line. Cavalry is going to go on a long, doomed journey to try to reach Oda Nobunaga's Honjing. I don't think we have time. Well, nothing for it. Might as well inflict some casualties. Oh, you're still around. To do what? Um, probably run away, honestly, towards France. Okay, good. Now we can turn around. Ugh. All right. Well, we can take comfort in the tactical victory. Next turn. Firm. Good. Ah, excellent. Pursue out of range. Nope, not quite. So they're done too. He couldn't reach, I don't know why. Maybe because he's out of command control. He bounce it or break? Bounce it for now. Oh, not that it mattered. Yeah, I would just run away if I were you. <sighs> nice rally. So let's stick the general on the heavy Yeti Zamudai and charge. Set up for a flank and prepare to join the fun. Um, in the meantime, we can't reach them because it's a priority charge target. How annoying. Here, slow down their match lock, man. Keep running. Okay, I guess, no, we should just maintain discipline. And... what? I think we hold this ground, honestly. Ugh. 
Oh yeah, you guys. Um, they can't push this way, really. It's a bad idea. They're probably best off just leaving the sector. Yeah, keep pushing that way. Get away if you can. Ah, yes. Towards Hongjing. Ah. Next turn. Well, with this many units running around routed or disrupted or fragged, there's bound to be some rallies happening. Good. The horse are pursuing so that all that firing is at half effect. Oh, what a shame. Had that all set up. Hmm. Eighty two percent to win that. So slow. I'm going to take matchlock fire no matter what and her armor won't help us against that mm. all right we're just gonna take it then don't like it but we have no choice Keep running that way. It's not much. It might be enough, but I don't think so. We're gonna have trouble catching these type of Ashkaru. Next turn.
It's too bad they didn't keep pursuing. Now they're going to get shot to bits. Good. And we have the high ground. Ah, uh, auto break. Well, now what am I supposed to do about this? I guess we'll turn and face. Lock them in. Push for the Ashigaru, we'll have the high ground at least. See if you can catch something. Yes, but I should have seen that. Now we'll get flanked. They were doomed anyways, either charge or get shot up. Like, could have charged this unit, I suppose. Fortunately, we're not going to have time to even break that Hunjing, even if we do reach it. Alright, next turn. Should lose it and win the technicality this turn, then to break this unit. Okay, unless we get a rally, which doesn't look like we do, it's over and we lose. But we also win. It's kind of confusing. There you go, your army has been forced to retreat, however you've inflicted enough losses on the enemy that this, this can be considered a strategic victory. And 
you know, I don't often say this after losses, but I'm not sure that I could have improved on this performance. Not that it was flawless, but, you know, were I to play it again, uh, I think I would have made the same number of, you know, minor technical mistakes that cost me enough to put me at 60. Maybe I should have occupied this hill more aggressively earlier on instead of shoving everyone into the assault on the right, but I don't think I would have been able to spare more than, say, three units, and I'm not sure if they could have held against the numbers that he immediately rushed to take this hill. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say that I did as well as I could have under the circumstances. So, good game to Hammercops, and until next time.